In this video, I'm going to show you a super quick and easy way to generate many different ideogram prompts, which have been getting me some amazing results. So the first thing you need to do is head to chat GPT and type in this message at the bottom. I will leave this exact message in the description too, so you can easily copy and paste it. But it essentially says, here's a formula for ideogram prompts. So this is a very simple prompt formula that we're going to teach chat GPT and it says a t-shirt design with a white background saying text in brackets so that's what we will let the AI swap out for random you know funny phrases or puns and you can also swap out a t-shirt design for typography design that's also given me some good results and um, typography designs will have less sort of graphics involved um, and just be more focused on the phrase so once you've got this hit enter then you will get a message back saying that yes it understands the prompt structure and the next thing we have to send is please create 10 different ideogram prompts using the above formula and use random funny phrases or puns you might want to add that in there as well for the text and random ad styles or descriptive words for the style so mess around with the number of prompts if you want to get more or whatever you you know desire you could also do cat themed funny phrases or puns if you want to enter a specific niche right so you can still modify these prompts to get more specific results to your liking but this is a good starting off point point. Um, once you're done just hit enter and you will get a list of different interesting prompts with different styles different funny phrases that you can quickly copy and paste into ideograms let's try one of these uh, this one sounds interesting espresso yourself in the style of vintage typography so let's copy this head over to ideogram and paste it into the prompt bar right here at the top you don't need to select a style you can just hit generate straight away and whilst that's running you could obviously take the next prompt copy that and paste it into this box ready to hit generate for me it's got a bit of a countdown timer because i've been using it a lot in the past 10 20 minutes so um, in your case oftentimes you can quickly copy and paste multiple prompts into here um, and therefore generate a lot of graphics very quickly. So here's what came back with the Espresso prompt. I think this one looks pretty neat, pretty interesting. Um, some of the other ones, again, the layout is cool, but uh, some of them are misspelt. Do not worry, be happy. This one actually came out really nice looking, so very happy with that result. Um, a couple of these other ones turned out nice. And here are some other results with this exact ChatGPT prompt that I got very quickly out of Ideogram. Here we've got Sloth Mode. I think some of these results look amazing quite like the color scheme right here and this more simplistic one looks great too this comic book typography style created some interesting results for pizza lovers so that might be something worth trying out here we've got coding is my cardio in a pixel art style super interesting and some of these results actually look decent. I'm out of this world of space themed, it says in the style of cosmic. Here's another few great results for the pizza lover phrase. The second ChatGPT prompt I've got for you is this one right here. It's a little bit longer and essentially it starts off with a subject in there as well. So subject in brackets, 2D flat illustration t-shirt design. And then we've got pretty much the same exact uh, prompt once again if you hit enter i will leave it in the description as well this one for you to copy if you hit enter you will get a response saying yes i understand and then you will want to respond with this message right here so create 10 different prompts using the above formula but with a sloth as the subject for example so you could use whichever niche you're entering right there to give it a specific subject to include in these prompts and i've also added please use random funny sloth themed phrases right so you would have to sort of put two different variables here if we hit enter on this we will get more niche specific results with an actual subject in there as well um, so we've got uh, disco sloth coffee sloth it, it has actually added some extra descriptive words to the beginning of the prompt as well which is interesting and we've got different styles for each of these as well as funny phrases so once again same process you can copy these paste them into ideogram one after another and see what sorts of results you get back so here are some of the results i got for these prompts here we've got sloth asana a master um, some interesting looking graphics along with the text we've got a sloth astronaut right here which is really hard to pronounce and uh, ideogram did definitely struggle with creating this text quite a long word this is a super cool one i managed to create earlier with this so it says cats coffee my two loves 
and uh, the graphics look great as well along with the text here we've got a cool looking one for an alien themed t-shirt design that says i'm not an alien just socially awkward so as you can see you can quickly get a ton of different results with these chat gpt formulas and then uh, quickly paste them into ideogram to see different styles different phrases and everything put together very quickly if you want to see how ideogram performs against mid journey then make sure to check out this video next where i compare the exact same prompts and give you my opinions Thank <laughs> you.